in the report, we refer to an agro-military complex, no? because uh, Israeli agribusiness companies have really been shaped by the apartheid context no? and continue to profit from it. But the Israeli military is also a very important source of personnel and technologies for those companies, as well as for hundreds of agri-tech startups that are, exist today. And at, as it has been documented, for example, by, uh, by who profits, no? military technology has been adapted to civilian agricultural use in the case of Netafim. But uh, there is more. Uh, the connection between the Israeli agribusiness companies and its military extends well beyond the, the, the borders of Israel. No? For example, India has become both uh, Israel's main arms recipient from 2017 to 2021, and at the same time, a top destination for several Israeli agribusiness companies and irrigation specialists. No? Another example is Vietnam, uh, which has emerged as a major uh, buyer of um, Israeli arms and surveillance technologies. And at the same time, there are several bilateral agricultural projects with Israel. No? This includes uh, Israel's commitment to invest $100 million into a mega dairy farm, uh, which is, has been constructed by Afimilk, which is another Israeli company. No? And you can see that the same for Angola, for example, uh, the Philippines, South Sudan, uh, Azerbaijan, and other countries that, that are strategic in ge geopolitical terms for Israel, where we notice that the sale of Israeli uh, military equipment and security systems often overlaps with the sale of agricultural uh, technologies.